Putin's regime is staggering. Some groups in Russia can start an internal conflict. The representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, spoke about which groups in Russia can push the start of an internal conflict by their actions. He noted that the driving force for the start of a civil war in the Russian Federation could be representatives of public society who are ready to defend their rights. But there are practically no such people. Here I would like to quote the well-known Ukrainian politician, political psychologist Oleg Pokalchuk, who said that in order for there to be a civil war, at least citizens are needed. That is, people with their own civil position who are ready to defend their rights, fight for them. But we don't see such people in modern Russia, Yusov explained. However, in Russia, there are groups of individuals who are ready to fight for their own interests and can push the real start of an internal conflict. Nevertheless, there are other groups that are ready to fight, if not for their rights, then for their interests. Of course, the latest events are connected with Prigozhin and his Wagner group. Now we can talk about the confrontation between the special services and the army in the Russian Federation. Other lines, when the Kremlin towers begin to quarrel more loudly among themselves. Of course, this indicates that the regime is already tottering. Cracks are already coming and, I think, will soon reach foundation. Yusov emphasized. He added that there are many unresolved, problematic issues in Russia, which will only exacerbate the internal conflict once it starts. These are the rights of enslaved peoples who will fight for them. And political rights, nevertheless, a large number of political prisoners are on the territory of the Russian Federation. And Putin, by attacking Ukraine himself, brought the end of the decaying Russian Empire as close as possible. Yusov stressed.